Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. In line with an order of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the royal court has mourned the death of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. His Majesty the King paid tribute to the late Emir of Kuwait who spent a life full of achievements in serving his people as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, extending condolences to a Sabah family and the people of Kuwait. The Royal Court reiterated the Kingdom's support to Kuwait and the Kuwaiti people in these painful circumstances, recalling with gratitude the respect and enormous contribution of the late Emir of Kuwait's growth, boosting historical fraternal relations between both countries and setting up the Gulf Cooperation Council. In line with an order by His Majesty the King, an edict has been issued declaring a three-day official mourning with Bahrain's flag flown half-mast in all official institutions in the Kingdom. The Kuwaiti Emir Diwan announced today the passing of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. The Emir Diwan stated, with great sadness and sorrow, the Emir Diwan mourns the passing of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. The statement expressed condolences to the people of Kuwait, to the Arab and Islamic regions, and the world, praying for mercy on the soul of the deceased. The late Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, was one of the most influential figures in the world through his countless initiatives that focused on peace and stability, as well as his political wisdom. More on this report. The late Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Emir Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, is one of the most influential political figures in the world. He is widely appreciated regionally and internationally thanks to his political wisdom that made him the man of peace and mediation. He was always present in national, Gulf, Arab and international occasions and was always the man of peaceful initiatives. He never missed an opportunity to meet with Arab leaders to find solutions to resolve Arab issues which made him an exceptional leader because of his political efforts that resulted for peace and stability to prevail his continuous humanitarian efforts for people and countries in need. The state of Kuwait transformed into the hub of decisive Arab decisions and international stances thanks to his historic initiatives in addition to Kuwait's hosting of international summits and conferences that Kuwait effectively contributed to its success. It also reflected the honorable image in the Arab and international arenas in the humanitarian and political fields. Kuwait also had an unprecedented Gulf, Arab and international radiance thanks to the wise leadership of the late Emir and his commitment to support national and Arab issues. The late Emir, may his soul rest in peace, was well known for his firm historic stances which embodied bearing a big responsibility which he took over proudly and courageously. The Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations witnessed great development under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the late Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, which made these relations a model of deep-rooted brotherly ties. More on this report. A governmental and public relation linked to one security and destiny of Bahrain and Kuwait, which is confirmed by the numerous exchange visits between the two countries. Historic milestones between the two countries highlight the depth of relations and continue to do so, which reaffirms that these Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations are a model to be emulated by the entire world. The bilateral relations are distinguished by the joint visions in all fields, which believe in the idea of one destiny and one goal due to the shared principles, which reinforce collaboration between the two countries in all aspects. These deep-rooted relations reinforce the presence of the two countries in the face of all challenges and changes facing the region, thanks to the advanced level of relations which built a strong foundation for cooperation for the best interests of the two countries and people. The Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations are a model for deep-rooted brotherly ties that continue to grow under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the late Amir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. This depth of relations was highly reflected during the brutal Iraqi attack on Kuwait in 1990 when the Kingdom of Bahrain's leadership, government and people stood by Kuwait against the invasion and exerted all their efforts to serve the justice and legitimacy of the state of Kuwait. The state of Kuwait, during the leadership of the late Emir His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, has seen exceptional developments in all fields in line with the new Kuwait Vision 2035. More on this report. 
Fourteen years have passed on the accession of the late Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, to the throne, during which the state of Kuwait has witnessed great development and gained wide international recognition in all fields. The late Kuwaiti Emir, thanks to his political experience, diplomatic horizon, and economic vision, was able to transform Kuwait in both the political and economic sectors. One of the fields on which Kuwait made its print is economy, which was one of the main priorities of the late Emir, in an attempt to find long-term resources on income in addition to oil. Supporting the development of national production and economic sectors made Kuwait able to transform into a modern economy that focuses on diversity and sustainability in line with the economic structure reform towards a diversified and sustainable economy in line with the new Kuwait Vision 2035. Housing services of Kuwaiti nationals was also one of the new Kuwait 2035 vision, which started to be put in place by building thousands of residential plots, houses and apartments with a budget of $1 billion to ensure providing the best quality housing services for Kuwaiti families. Also, one of the main priorities of the late Emir of Kuwait was education advancement, based on his belief that the foundation for comprehensive development is preparing well-educated generations. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawzi Zainal, expressed condolences to the people of Kuwait and to the Arab and Islamic nations on the demise of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Amir Sheikh Sabah bin Jabir Sabah. May his soul rest in peace. Speaker Zainal highlighted the role of the late Emir in promoting peace, coexistence and tolerance in the world, who was a pioneer leader in supporting Gulf unity and achieving solidarity among the countries and people of the Arab region. She affirmed the world's pride in the achievements of the late Emir in the humanitarian field to spread the culture of dialogue and love, noting his prestigious international presence and appreciation. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives also highlighted the deep-rooted Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations, which witnessed development during the leadership of the late Emir thanks to his keenness to further enhance them in all fields, in addition to Kuwait's support to Bahrain in all circumstances due to the shared destiny and goal. The Shura Council expressed its sincere condolences to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and to the brotherly people of Kuwait and the Arab and Islamic nations on the demise of the late Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. They prayed for his soul to rest in eternal peace and affirmed faith in the leadership of Kuwait. They prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect Kuwait and its people. Gulf, Arab and world leaders also mourned the late Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. The President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Zayed Al Nahyan mourned the late Emir and declared a three-day official mourning which flags flown half-mast. UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum also mourned the Emir and extended his condolences to the people of Kuwait. The Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan affirmed that the late Sheikh Sabah is one of the pioneers in Gulf joint action. His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan also mourned the demise of the late Emir of Kuwait and the Jordanian Royal Court announced 40 days of official mourning. The Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi mourned the Emir of Kuwait and declared a three-day mourning across the Egyptian Republic. The Lebanese President Michel Aoun also expressed deep sadness over the demise of the Emir of Kuwait following a life he spent serving his country, people and brotherly Arab states and their affairs, adding that the late Emir was an example of moderation and wisdom. The former Lebanese Prime Minister Saad al-Hariri also mourned the demise of the late Kuwaiti Emir. The Iraqi President Barham Saleh mourned the demise of the Kuwaiti Emir, affirming that he was a leader that was keen on maintaining the security and stability of the people of the region. The General Secretariat of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation mourned the demise of the late Emir of Kuwait and stated that he was the voice of wisdom and moderation and had a high ranking among world leaders. The Imam of Al-Azhar, Ahmed Al-Tayyib, also mourned the demise of the Emir of Kuwait, calling him the Emir of Humanity. The Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abu Al-Ghayt, also mourned the demise of the Emir of Kuwait, affirming that his stances in serving Arab causes were honorable. <laughs>